Hello everyone, it's Shatline, and welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Empire. Today I thought we would do some small vessel building. That's why we're in the hangar here. We are going to try our hand at building a, a nice all-around multi-purpose small vessel. So, first thing you need to do is place a small vessel starter block. Now when you place it, the front end is going to be facing towards you, so you want to take that into account when you build it. So, make that. The long blue line here is the front, and the small blue single block in the back is the back. So, first thing we want to do is upgrade all these blocks to hardened steel. And as you remember to do that, you have uh, hardened steel plates. There they are. Hardened steel plates in your inventory. Take your multi tool, right, hold down the shift and right click, and that will upgrade it. Alright, so we've done that. Now we want to encase it on the top. So for that, we get our steel blocks, which I don't have. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back and we have our steel blocks. So the next thing we want to do is encase the top of this in steel blocks. So what you want to do is cover the core because when you get attacked the attackers are targeting your core and if you lose that your ship will not work anymore. So you want to make sure you have this fully encased uh, as, as best you can. So this is why we build in just regular steel blocks, because if we need to remove them, it's much easier to do. So then we are going to put a cockpit on. Now, I went and built all these cockpits because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to have. So I just kind of built all of them so I can see which one I like the most. Let's see, we also have that one. So, let's try three. I like that one. That one would be good if that was going to be the front of the ship, but I don't think we're going to do that. That one. That one might be a thing. Let's try these other ones. It's low pro profile. It's it's kind of sleek. That one's a little too boxy, I think. Yeah, same with that one. That one probably be good if they ever introduce mining, you know, from a ship into this because it's got that glass in the front. That one, that's uh, kind of cool looking, but I don't think, uh, well, maybe. Let's try the last one. Yeah, that angled front end might be a little hard to work with. And nine. This one's if you want to, like, uh, build, you know, you can build a door for en entering and, and build your own cockpit around it. I think we are going to go with number seven. Let's try this, see what we get. All right, so you have some minimum items you have to have on a small vessel. Let's see, we are going to 
remove those because we we're going to put something in there and then we will put blocks over it again. So we're going to put a generator in there. So, so one of the minimum things you need is a generator. So we'll put that there. Then we will put blocks all around it. hidden inside. We're going to upgrade that one to hardened steel. Okay, so we've got a generator. Now we need fuel tanks. Where's my fuel tank? figure it out as we go along. So now you can, you know, you can build this out however you want. Um, let's, uh, I'll do that. Let's see. Well, let's go ahead and throw fuel tanks on. side. Now I like to build symmetrical because if you, you know, say you get attacked from this side and they blow off the side of the ship, if, you know, you have all your stuff on one side, uh, you lose it, you have it on the other side, you have some redundancy built in. So we'll have that sure if I like the placement of that. I really don't have a vision for how this ship's going to be. I'm just kind of winging it here. But let's... Let's... I don't know. We'll go with that for now. Alright, so the next minimum thing you need is RCS. So this is what allows you to move in place. And the more you have, the faster you can move. We'll throw those on there. And let's see, now we need some thrusters. So let's go with these. And these are just going to kind of be temporary because we want to get it off the ground so that we can uh, build the underside. Put some steel blocks on the other underside. So you need thrusters in every direction. Let's see. Let's throw some fuel in here in here and this should be enough to get us off the ground. Fire that up. Yeah. So I see the RCS allows you to do these movements. And then the uh, vertical thrusters allow you to go up and down. So let's see. Sliding a little because it's not even. Is that going to hold position now? Right, let's try that. Alright, so we want to put some steel blocks under here. Yeah, 
it's still sliding a little. But it's alright. We can deal with that. Alright, so we got that. And let's extend these all the way out. Alright. So far, so good. So, shut it off, hop out. I'm gonna go and let's see. Let's try putting these thrusters on. think, let's see, we need some side-to-side -side thrusters. Other than that, this thing would be ready to go right now. You know, we can uh, jump in here, fire it up, we can go forward, we can go backwards, we can run into things, but see, we can't go left and right. So that's why we need the sideways thrusters. Lateral thrusters is what they would be called. So, I'm going to run up and make those real quick. I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. I've got uh, plenty of thrusters now. And I think we're going to do a little redesign here. Let's get rid of that one. Get rid of this one. Get rid of these. Alright, so I, want, I got rid of those because I wanted to move them down a little bit. So we'll go here. We'll go over. Where did I put that one? Even with the cockpit. Put that one there. those all right so I think so this is minimum of what you need no it isn't we need some sideways thrusters. One there. And one there. So, there you go. So this is minimum we need. So if we hop in here, fire it up. <laughs> Alright. We forgot the downward facing ones. So, let's see. Go with seven. Pop one there and one there. Alright, so now that's the minimum. So, fire it up so we can go up, we can go down, we can go forward, we can go back, we can go left, we can go right. So we can take this one out. This is a done usable ship um, 
very maneuverable because of all the RCS units, you know, but, uh, yeah. So from here on out, it's basically just a stylistic issue, you know, um, what do you want to have on it? You know, so from here, it's, like I said, it's just what you want to have on it. Sometimes these things get a little crazy. Um, so yeah, what you, what devices you want on it. Um, you know, do you want a constructor? Do you want oxygen? Do you want cargo? Uh, weapons? You know, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's all in what you want. So I'm going to try and build this out into something, you know, halfway decent. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't really have an idea, but, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, I believe our ship is done, and wow, it's impressive, it's not that impressive. But we're going to take it out for a test run anyway, and see how it does. So, you access everything from the cockpit because I wanted everything to be well armored. So, you know. So that way it can't get destroyed. But anyway, so loading up some ammo. Now it just barely fits through the launch tube. Yeah, I can't even see there. So this might have to sit outside. Anyway, as you see, it's pretty fast. fast, pretty maneuverable, you know, this is just with the mouse, so it's pretty darn maneuverable. Could do some barrel rolls in it. Whoa! Gotta work on my barrel rolls. So load up our weapons and we'll give it a test fire here. Ooh, 
Whoa, that's a wall. So you'll notice power usage is at 130%. That means we need more generator. We're gonna need another generator on here. And yeah, that's a thing. All right, so we're loaded up. So first up is the rail gun. I like the rail gun. We got four rail guns. Next up, plasma cannon. We got four plasma cannons. That's pretty cool. Rockets, we got three rocket launchers. Else we got here minigun oh. what oh I brought the wrong ammo for the mini gun I'm such an idiot that's all right and then plasma laser got two of those so this thing's pretty well armed, I think. It flies pretty good. It, it could use some improvements, you know. I'm not a uh, not a great ship builder, but what I do know is that when you build a ship, you want lots of armor, and that's what this ship has. It has lots of armor. Launchers. I wonder, I thought this, this looked like it was. Oh, yeah, see, so digging holes. So that's pretty cool. How, how big a hole is Oh, that's even bigger. Alright. Does some damage. And then the rail gun. Yeah. I don't know. This plasma cannon is doing some damage, but it's slow. The rail gun, its shots are almost instantaneous, so that, that's why it's my favorite. Anyway, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the ship building there. Uh, that took a really long time. I'm probably going to have to cut a lot of stuff out. But anyways, if you like the video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, so we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me. Bye.